So it's one extra in Jamaica. Yes. 2024. 20, um, we're in a secret location. <laughs> we're in the man's yard. Look, the, all them dark. Come yes, on. yes. The dark, look, the dark wants to be in the interview. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, Here's a Here's a clue. Here's a clue. Here's a clue. Here's a clue. Up. Up. Good boy. Up, 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 up. Up. Elmo, you know. All right, push again. Yeah. I know you sing. My dogs are my favorite. I want to listen to that one day. <laughs> name Top Farm. Seriously? Yeah, man. So, in a Top Farm? Have a, yeah, the next one named Image. Are you serious? Yeah, man. One name Juggler. If I call him right now, you see him run come Top Farm. Call, call him. Call yeah. him. Call him. Elmo. Call him. Call him. I want, this is what I want to see. Call him. This is what I want to see. Top Farm. Top Farm. Come, boy. In a top farm. <laughs> People, this is why you know this is a world exclusive for BBC Radio One Extra. We're in Massacre's yard. Massacre's in his slippers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Family vibes. Say no, say. Thank you, my brother. You know I mean, all right now. Your time up, my boss. All right. All time. Up, up, up. Good boy. Up, 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 up. That's a Good big, up, that's a big dog, bro. Up. Yeah, man. He's protecting a lot up here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say congratulations. Definitely, brother. And I'm so pr proud of you. I'm in yeah, your man. yard, several stories. It's a blessing, it's a blessing. Man. Pool. It's a, it's a blessing, you know? From nothing to something. Yeah. This definitely. is the dream, it's a dance hall dream. Yes, yes. To be, able, to be able to sing songs, to be able to feed your family. Yeah, man, definitely. Feed your dogs, them. your dogs them are living, everybody's yes, living. Most important thing, you know? And for me to sit here, like, honestly, in a massacre. Yeah, man. Your pool, the lights, everything. It's a blessing, my brother. Because you know the journey, Shani B. You know the journey. You did it from day one and see it, so, you know what I mean? What a lot of people don't know is, and I don't even think you know, is that in 2012, my mother and my father passed away. Ah, uh, Jano. And you yeah, man. was one of those artists that I was speaking to back and forward. We recorded a song together. Yeah, it took long for send the files, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah, we recorded man. the yes. song rolling, yes. and yes. that's that's what helped me get through that. Yeah, time. man, definitely. You definitely. Know what I'm my condolences, sister. I'm glad I could have been a part of that. You know what I mean? Nah, real talk, real yeah, talk. Man. Yeah, man. But then I think it was in 2016 when yes. myself and Winji forward come out of and deal. Yes. For the freestyle in 2016, yeah. and that was the start of the journeys. And I say journeys because it's many journeys with one extra in Jamaica. Yeah, man. And you've been part, part of that. We've done over six freestyles, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We've been working. We've been working. Do you remember that first freestyle in Avondale? It was you and Razzy, and I think you was doing a dub plate session. Yes. Yes. And we were just firing off rhythms, and you was like, yes, next spit. rhythm, <laughs> spitting. We go from the whole block and tell the crooks your skull hat. Make sure you have it every time because you love chat. Me pop it off, boom, somebody just jump. You're just a chime, bad. Hey, boy, your freestyle for real. Baby, one extra man carry the steel. Girl, see me say, Jenna, you look like a meal. There was no, there weren't even no one extra. Yeah, there was no one extra team there. It was me and my camera, bro. Yes, man. I was just a spit and a vibe. And a, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I think it was. Father Romy. I did Father Romy. Yeah, yeah Father see, Romy. Yeah, man. Definitely. What, what do you remember yeah, of your yeah. of those times, the early days in your career, Massacre? Um, you know, say to be honest, Shani, I, 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 I some of the most enjoyable moments them in my career, as in the hardship and you know, just experience the street, experiencing trying to build yourself, going through the different stages them in your career, and it, 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 it. it when I, mean, I tell any young artist that appreciate the journey, it's very important. Like the root, the 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 the, the body, of it, you know what I mean. Not just the end result. The, all of it make everything come together. You can't yeah. skip it. Did you know who you wanted to be as an artist during them times there? Because I think if I remember, you you was dabbling in many different kind of projects, <laughs> like some old school rhythms. You were spitting on rhythms as well. Um, you was doing projects with, with was it Equinox back then? Definitely, them times yeah, there? the King yeah. Toby, the King yeah, Toby. Yeah. Um, you know, me did. To be honest, me just love music, so I was a, a huge lover of music. So the thing is, growing up, me used to even listen like Kenny Rogers, gambling song. No, no, for them think I'm just like music. So with that, my kind of appreciation for work, 
the elders them do and pass before we. So even the King Tobis thing, um, Bounty Killer, being a man, Shabba Ranks, my, 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 my love the music, I like the sound, the slang thing. So whatever the rhythm is, I take to it. But I never really identify myself them time. Like, I know more on the music, I know more on bus, but I did have to go back to the drawing board, recreate myself, kind of. See where my strong point, where my weaknesses, work for my weaknesses, you know what I mean? And come back again, you know what I mean? Definitely one. Who was your artist when you was growing up? Because we all had an artist. When we the way was I said, man, definitely Bounty Killer, Vibes Cartel, um, Sizzler, Capitan, yeah. We used to love the um, Eminem. Eminem was my favorite rapper. Because I love lyrics, you know what I mean? So we used to like how diverse it is and how we music them just have a have a storyline to it. Just the body, just everything, you know what I mean? Yeah man. That's one of the things that people used to say about you in your early part of your career. Yeah man. That I'm just full of lyrics. Yeah. No melodies, no nothing. I, I, I even remember <laughs> remember some of the early interviews that yes. people used to critique you about. Yes. Yes. It just has spit bars, it just has spit bars, no me melodies. Yeah man. Do you kinda look back at and say they, they were right. One hundred percent, they were right. You know what I mean, and and that is why we could have been able to grow and and mature and and find so much hit songs. You know what I mean, till it come like me not even can put out a song without it being. You know what I mean. So it was the songs they never can struck properly. You know what I mean. We did just have a lot of lyrics and just a spit, but then. You know, we get cons constructive criticism. We go back to the giant board, as I say. We start look on the songs and we are work. We start listen to different type of music, like like really going deep. You now, me that listen for just fun, but now we start going, build my own chemistry, see how stuff work, listen hit songs, listen so, and then we put all of that. You know what I mean? On my blackboard, I'm gonna say, all right, then this, 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 take all that. The people them want this, and definitely, man. Too much lyrics in other song, then me that recreate myself. You know what I mean? Come with some melody push the vocals some more, some softer tunes and stuff like that so the people them can actually receive the music more because you not just do it for yourself or pan the ends of just boom 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 bust some blank sometime up all on a Sunday you want somebody just relax and vibe to the music you have to have contents like that you know what I mean I think I know where your turning point was in your career when it comes to lyrics and melodies I'm going to see if you agree with agree with me yeah man really. where, where do you think it was what song do you think Mark that change where you thought, see it there, that's what they want. Ah, um, I would have said they don't know. 2018? Yeah, man, 100% they don't know. Hold them, I go let me not stumble before. You want to make it when you're humble for sure. Crips in a cup and none around me, you're poor. Hold them, I go let them be born in the riches. Hold them, they went when I sleep on the floor. But from my band, I said, my God, for the riches. Mommy, no worry, me God, dead poor. You know what's surprising about that song, Shani B? It's actually a party song. I did like a record on the rhythm. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, man. When I heard the rhythm first, I actually was going to do a party song. And, you know, just hearing the rhythm, hearing the rhythm, I said, yo, I try something different. And my voice is sung. When my voice is sung, to be honest, it wasn't my favorite song. Because, no, naturally I'm a lyricist. So I'm like, eh, you know the thing already. And the, the similes and the metaphor them and everything of your, of your rhyme. But then, when we start listening it now, there was just this addiction to the song, the simplicity of the song. And when the song start playing and all people start receiving it, I say, what? Out of every song? But then, that's the thing. You don't decide what the people them love. So you just do music from the heart. And I realized that that song was really my journey, really coming from the heart, really my experiences, where I go through, you know what I mean? And yeah, definitely. And I think that's the connection. Mm -hmm. the, what you're going through, may be very parallel to what I'm going through. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And I remember seeing that record out in the streets, especially Kingston during that time. That's when I was I was putting my foot in the ground in Kingston. Yes, yes. And seeing it up at Uptown Mondays and all these kind of events, it was like, yo, the people are really reacting to, to yeah, this. And I, and I saw the switch in you as an artist yeah, man. Definitely. at that time. Definitely, man. Definitely. And that that I grow too, you know what I mean? And you start growing and you start realizing, yo, yeah, I still do song for the thugs them. I have song for the ladies them. I can't lift up my ladies them, you know what I mean? But also as an artist, a lot of youths look up to me, you know what I mean? And I have to be, I have to be responsible and I have to can lead the youth them too, you know what I mean? So it's not just, all right, we are vibe, 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 darkness, darkness. No, sometimes I have to make the youth them know so you can make it believe in yourself. You know what I mean? We are forward from nothing. Once you have self-belief and, and, and the right amount of discipline, you can achieve it. You get what I'm saying? So, 
it come with growth and then you start to see how the youths them love them song there and how the, the street connect to you when you when you when you do them type of song there, you get me? Yeah man. How real was that song to your life? They don't know my struggle. Yeah man, definitely one hundred percent real and, and as me say even till this day, I want my favorite song. I never leave it out on my set. Never when yeah, I perform. <laughs> yeah, never, ever, ever. And it's just the, the, the sentimental feel to it. You know what I mean? Um, just that struggle that knowing, say, you know, people might think, say, yo, this come easy. You, 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 you was favored or it was given to you. You know what I mean? And you just realize say, to them, say, listen, who would even know the half? I want me to forget you. If it, Make a name in the dance hall music for, for keep my sanity, for, for, for try for just stay sane, you know what I mean? And enough, enough people outside of the music not really understand that. So that's why you might say artists get a one year and fall off or it's whole heap of work and for keep the meds and, you know, go out there and for stay safe and for maintain the, the artist, it, it, it take enough, is it? So, yeah man, maybe that for put it in a song and make the fans them just know. I think there's a lot of depression in dance art, bro. Wally, enough, 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 enough depression. And the thing is, the youths, them have to have, have um, a thing called self-belief, Shani. You see, once you believe in yourself, everything will happen around you, you can change it. Once you have life, you have the power to change anything will happen around you. No situation, no permanent, you know what I mean? And you see, with that, I feel like you now the youths, them weaker than before, you know what I mean? And I just have to be real, like, the youths them complain about everything, you know, the youths them entitled, you know what I mean? The youths them thin skin, so you're not even can correct youths without him feeling some type of way. You can hardly speak your mind, everybody just sensitive, you know what I mean? And I think that help you with, it, with, with the depression, because most of the time you ask them what them depression, depressed about, they can't even tell you. Sometimes are materialistic things are just personal gains, you know what I mean? And things where, if you really look at it, you don't have to be depressed. You get what I say? You can just relax. Work, take a time, build where you are, build and stay focused, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think man. one of the things is, Massacre, that IG and the TikTok, we can dictate what people see. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You can roll into our Airbnb and put up a picture of this. This could not even be your yard, bro. Exactly. And they're looking at that and they're saying, how come I ain't got that? I got big Ex songs ah, like Massacre. Exactly. So, comparison. Steal or joy, you know what I mean? And with social media and them thing there, you realize that everybody fake them happiness. You know what I mean? Everybody live the perfect life. Everybody have the perfect image. Everybody have the perfect family. Nobody no real no more. And, it, and when, when you consistently focus on somebody else's grass, you will never get greener. You know what I mean? And <laughs> That's for real. You see, you just have to appreciate the little way you have. Work with the little way you have. Work with where you have now. Start where you're at, you know what I mean? And if, if most of the youths them do that, you know what I mean? And and stop pay attention to like, you know, everything else out there, them will reach far, trust me. Is there a setback that you had that you could even let them know, know to make them feel a little bit more encouraged to say, yo, yeah, Massacre man, went through that? Yeah, man, holy per setback, man, Shani. Holy, holy, holy. All right, there has been time in my career where I wonder if I go bust, like, like, we just, like, I have to quit this thing right now. You know what I mean? All right, when my youth born, what year was that? Um, I think I was like 19, probably about 2000 and probably about 17. Half them time, probably about 2016, 2000. About 2017, 16. All right, when my son born, or 2011, sorry, about 2011, when my son born, I did one of the biggest depress depression I got you as a person, because here we go on up. You see, the thing is, I live in the ghetto, you know what I mean? And them time they live with my mother, my brother, my sister. What community was that? Um, Portmore, okay. or a place over there near Merkley. You know what I mean? Because I originally born a Waltham, you know what I mean? Left Waltham, live a Spanish town. Enough people didn't even know that, you know what I mean? So when I left Spanish town at about uh, 12, 13, go to Portmore, go live. So I get my son with me around 18, 19, you know what I mean? When I get my son, I can barely even fend for myself. Not even for myself, I can fend for. So just look upon the picture, they know you are bringing a next human being in the picture. You know what I mean? So that depressive state, they know me. I said, you know, me have to go try to get a work. One day, if I have to go rob some people, turn to different things, you know what I mean? Because it get real, like it get, it, it boil down to survival. You know what I mean? So with that being said, it's just the love for the music. You know what I mean? I made it have some good people around me. You know what I mean? So. It, 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 it helped me for believing in myself, you know what I mean? And 
it helped me to try to for, for, for refocus. First and foremost, my parents them never believe at, at one point, they must say, yo, better me quit the music. My father never quit the music at none at all. Yeah, man, yeah, man, straight man. All right. Remember, as a parent, my father did want me to go to school and, and you know what I mean? How was you at school? Smart, that was the thing. I was really, really smart. You're so, like me. Yeah, I was really, really smart. <laughs> and I did love music literature. Is a waste. <laughs> yeah, so I actually got college for one year and just quit. I went college for one yeah, day. Yeah, man, I just. And caught. <laughs> <laughs> I said this ain't for yeah, me. Yeah, not me. Like, I just sit down in the class after a while and just decide, say, yo, you know, this is not for me. But as well, I did, I said, still, my parents never really with the music thing and nobody in my family never do the music yet. What's the name of this puppy right here? Millie. Oh, so not at the name of a song. Young millionaire, this man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you see, sometimes you have to just it's just that self belief and that and that, and that discipline. That when when the road get dark, when nobody else no believe, you just have to pick up yourself and clap for yourself. And that are the thing. If you always wait for people for for celebrate you, you're not gonna ever feel appreciated. Cause sometimes you just have to pick up the pieces of yourself. You know what I mean? What does Pop say to you now? Yeah, man, I'm proud, man. Proud, proud, proud. My family, proud. All right, like, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? Like, like, from such darkness to such light, it, 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 it unbelievable if you even explain with words. You, you, people would have to see the transition and have to see it. I don't think I could have put it into words. Like, the cards that have been dealt and how we, we turn them around and how oh, everybody just come around. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. That, that comes with hit records. Yes, man. And they don't know from there. Yes. Boom. Yes. Had you named your your dogs <laughs> after your hit records? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like back to back yeah, to man. back yeah, man. to back. Yeah, man. And you've had some real big critics online saying, "Yo, I massacred the man with the whole heap of hit records." Them looking at the dance hall, and you would see, as you said, top farm image, drug yeah, blood. The, the records the go, list goes on, 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 man, and on and on, man. Tell me about the work ethic. Every day, I actually have a student at. Not the back of my yard. Can we, my can vice, we take a look at walking there? Yes, look man, definitely. My voice, the whole generation of kings in the studio. My voice, the whole 438 in the studio at the back of my house. I just wake up and go in at the back of my yard. Professional, professional studio. I do music every day. I think about music every day. This is my job. So I don't me not do it like, yo, I could go to the studio, go vibe. I make, no, I do this seven days of the week. So I have my weekends and I just know, say, yo, Ray. But at 24 7, every day, I do music. You know what I mean? Because, hey, what? You see, my thing is, this is how me do my music. You can't just pull up on me and with us vibing at the studio. You can't do that with a pilot. You can't do that with an accountant at the bank. Do not take my job for a joke. You know what I mean? You can't come vibing. At it. It's not a play, play place. <laughs> I work, go on in there. So when I turn on my rhythm, this is how I make my bread and butter. This is what changed my family life. And if you don't believe that being serious and taking it serious, I go be effective. Me no need for around me. So work ethic is everything to me, man. Seven days of the week, man. The, the one person that I've always see you have around you, and he's here right Definitely, now. Definitely, man. Razzy, man. Razzie. Yes, man. Razzy hit, Razzy hit the record button. Yeah, yeah. Straight. I don't want to call him. Star. Yeah, man. Straight, man. So how many years have you been friends with Razzy? Ah, long. Past a decade. Serious? Yeah, man. Past a decade, long time, man. Long, long time, man. And yeah. he still is that chief engineer it's for you? still chief engineer. And that's the thing, too, you know. You see, we have the same vision and the same drive. So you have to surround yourself with people when you complain when work for, for happen. When you have to jump up and do this because they weigh down the, 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 the team. You know what I mean? So everybody have to just step on the, the same wavelength. And that with Razi. Razi love the work. Razi ambitious. Razi self-driven. So it just go on in and any time, boom. You know what mm. I mean? You call somebody, yo, you know, so me do is always an excuse. Them always find the perfect excuse for not show up. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't deal with that. You know what I mean? Are there any producers that you, you've you kind of taken a fancy to working with over the years because their sound works for you and you you know that every time you go back, you you you, you, you get that hit record? Yeah, man, done well. Big up, done well. You know what I mean? Big up, Mozico. Two of the youths that we work with um, for numerous amount of years and build a relationship with talented youths them you know what I mean and that are the same thing them love the music them dedicated and disciplined so them are two of the youths when I work with them I always find it's with TJ Records I was, I was waiting for you to yeah, say man, TJ yeah man TJ I'm a brother like that TJ I'm one of the first person them really try to reach out and help me help me in the music you know what I mean different from my friend Kaba you know what I mean? you know Kaba mm. but TJ was was that person that where, when I just up and I come up and I find God and done you know what I mean he must send me read him I remember I said TJ was a hot producer at them time. There. You know what I mean? He still motivated me. I said, yo, the thing with TJ, you know, and I don't know 
I may tell you the truth, it's like the man a prophet. One day I had the studio in a real life and he called me and he said, DJ, listen to me. A vibes cartel around the thing now. I never forget that, but the man said, Yeah, what are going on? Yes, after a couple years, you're going to be the biggest artist in a dance hall and it, no, nobody else. And I can't understand fathom, I can't understand where I say at that point in time. And he said, Listen to me, I listen to music a long time. But then I meet Dan Carleone and he tell me the same thing, because I heard Dan Carleone from me at 19. And the man said, Listen to me, bro. Yeah, man, ask Razi, man, Dan Carleone show up when I was about 18, 19, man. As a youth, that's what kept me motivated. Even though I wasn't making the money, no monetary moves, I didn't make real links. Like, I didn't knock on real doors. So, Dan Carleone linked me from a long time, and Dan Arroll. TJ linked me from a long time, you know what I mean? Reach out from a long time. Whole heap of people, Equinox, you know what I mean? Big up Gavin. Gavin was one of them persons that were mentor me to, you know what I mean? But them, them see the vision, long time. So, Dan used to say, listen to me. You're not even know where you have you. <laughs> believe me. You know what I mean? But then when I start to see that now, I say, yo, why them man they would have linked me? Why? I start to believe. And I this so everything start to go crazy you now when me start to believe. Because when me start to believe now, I say, eh, eh, so more wicked. They saw the ingredients. <laughs> yeah, man. They saw the ingredients to be a top rated dance yeah, artist. What do you think are the ingredients to be? A top rated dance artist to stick around like a beanie, like a bunty, like a caper, and like a spragger, like some of those names here, like um, what you're doing, like cartel, like Mavado. I think you have to be different. That uh, if you realize bunty different from beanie, shabba different from buju bantan, buju bantan different from shampa, different from shaggy, the man them did different. You could identify each person different. You know what I mean? And them used to have them own sound and them sing. Even if everybody has sing about love, a man now try to sing like a man or sound like a man. Mm. So I think the youth them the, the, the 90s and the 80s artists them did more discipline. The man them they love the music more. When you look on the joy and the, the, the unity and how the man them work, I think they love the dead of it more. And I think that are the real ingredients still. Just discipline and just have the that 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 the identity the identity the self identity the way people can say you are you that even if it not work you just go and stay in your lane even if it still not work you go and stay in your lane you know but I go in a uh, my boy the lane for look like my boy they have you understand what I mean mm. so people can appreciate you for you I'm just think of that that the man them did have from them time you know what I mean is there an area of dance hall that you would uh, like to be transported back to to say yo let me see if I could uh, keep up with the man man them um, in at them time we, yeah. we, we love no you know what I mean? I don't mean, get any lie. I love now. I love everything about the music now. But I think I could have keep up in the 90s. You know what I mean? I love the 90s. When I hear the 90s and the sound and the, the, the heavy rhythm, the man, I'm a lyrical artist. I love DJ. You know what I mean? I love right. So I think I would have fit perfectly in the 90s. And anytime I meet an artist, you know what I mean? I meet Shabba, I meet Buju. Anytime I reason with Buju, reason with Shabba, they always tell me, say, yo, believe me, youth. You see me? You have that sound. How do we define the sound of dance uh, right now, Massacre? Knowing that you're at the helm of that as well, that space right now. You've got the seat that everyone's looking at. Um, no, the dance hall, personally speaking, I think, I think, I speak for myself, um, I think the dance hall is in a good state. You have a whole heap of good artists out there. The sound of dance hall is getting back to where it's supposed to be. You have good artists and the thing is, I think the people them just need to help the dance hall and stop critique the dance hall. Give so them a much, chance. Yeah, give the youth them a chance. That's what I think too. And even the, the veterans them, before you bash them, teach them. Like how much you should teach before you start bash. You know what I mean? And that's what we need. We need in the in the in the dance hall. But I think the music good. I think everything come with changes i know every day the weather nice sometimes it freezing sometimes the, the snow sometimes the rain sometimes the you know what i mean so me think with 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 anything in life you have changes so probably this is a time where it's not as high as the 90s but we still are doing thing. i think people are starting to listen to each other yes i think that you know what the youths they weren't listening to the elders them and the elders they weren't listening to the youths there yeah and there was this friction that's going on and what i've noticed from from the big bonks rhythm, yes. especially the youth them is listening to the elders them and saying, oh, so jugglings is where the thing there. Yeah, man. Cause at some point, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to fall around, you know, and, 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 and realize what make it better, what make the thing work. So at some point, you have to realize that the elders, elders them do it, them pave the way already. How oh, can a man walk the road there? 
tell you how the road look and you say you know what here. Mm. You must be stupid. You know what I mean? So them have to look into themselves, look on what the man them do already, them don't do it, Super Bowl, being them big, bunty them big, Bob Marley don't take over the whole world and stay so so it, it, it set already. Where you are doing no new? Nothing where you are doing no new. You just are, you know what I mean? You probably can go a greater level, but it has already been done. You know what I mean? And it's bigger than you, the music bigger than any individual. So just play your part and do your little service, you know what I mean? Have you got a call for any of the jugglings of like, so Big Bunks did there, de, de, <laughs> Chaka did there, de, de, yeah, Walla and the Street yeah, Vice did there, de, Dotty Money did there, de, de. did you get the call? Yeah man, me and the youth them good, you know, you know what I mean? But here what, you see, me did a rip on the album too. Right. Yeah, so that did take a whole heap of isolation for kind of figure out, for kind of get the tracks them right. But me and the youth them good, man. You know what I mean? That's who you have a punk up with juggling, you see it? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, isolation is kind of your thing though, Massacre. Yeah, man. You kind of stick to yourself. You don't really see a box board every and no. everywhere just like that. Um, even online, you, you don't really see no excitement or no. passer with you online. No. Sometimes they try to draw you up and they no, clash man. this, that, the other. <laughs> How do you deal with all of that? Do you, do you watch Talk The Truth? Do you watch the vlogs? I see everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I see everything, man. Every single thing. But that is it. As I tell you, discipline and self-control. Yeah, I protect my energy 100%. So, I see it and it not have no effect on me. Because I don't allow it to have no effect on me. I don't comment. I see it, but I don't see it. And you see me in a frame of mind where I so focus on what I want to achieve and what I want to be in a life. It's like everything else around me from... I don't want to give it no attention, it don't exist. Like seriously. It's not in a bad way. So you can't spoil my day. No, you can't you can't draw me out. You can't spoil me me have a want you have to spoil my day. It's impossible for you to spoil my day. You know what I mean? So you spoil your day. You get what I mean? I, say. <laughs> I think it's part of their day. Yeah, of, like so, the clickbaiting and all the rest no, of it. No, man, I see everything, man, but that are the thing too. Do you, you know? just laugh at yeah, the man. stories? Yeah, man. And how ridiculous they could be sometimes as well. well. Yeah, man, they never, and this is more people know, they never offend me yet. Like, if them ever think, say, like, nobody can get under my skin. I'm built for this. People are going to talk whether you do good, whether you do bad, whether you shine, whether you you know, the darkness, and all of you have one life. Mm. You just have to live your truth. People are going to talk. Was there a story that you saw online and you thought, that's a complete lie? <laughs> yeah, man, I see Wally. Which one? Which Wally one? Pick was... one. Pick one. Tell me one. <laughs> this is the interview that they were uh, uh, here, bro. What's for, what one story that you thought, watch this. <laughs> um. Oh, send me a write this song. Like, like enough time I write songs and, and them say, yo, you know, say the artist are this that person, yeah, the artist are, are the, at 90% of the time, your man just going to my studio and just shoot. You know what I mean? Me not going to my studio with, 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 with no artist from my brain. You know what I mean? And that's why some of them can't find songs because I think about the music. Somebody just going there and shoot. So that's one of the stories. And next thing is, whole heap of time, I see people that tell me, say, um, I live a foreign. That's our next thing I miss it too. We say, we live a foreign See, Never no. lived overseas. Never lived overseas. Always not, been here. Never, not, hide out. not even for one year. Me never live a foreign for not even one year. You know what I mean? But the thing is, it's not even hiding. You know, it's, it's, it's just protecting the energy, mm. keeping focus. You see, you, you, all right. Here with me, observe, Shani. You see what people have access to, them destroy. I miss that a lot of times. And you lose flavor when you mix too much. It's not that I'm unfriendly, you know. I'm antisocial. I talk to anybody. I'm one of the most humble artists. I go anywhere and talk to anybody, pull up anywhere at all. You know what I mean? It massacre different from, from me. You know what I mean? When I say, I'm still a human being. I still have to relate to my dogs, them, relate to my family, relate to my son when I come in, have to relate to people. Same way, I have my life to mm. live. But that no not mean I want to be around toxic people. I want to be around negativity. People who have self doubt automatically are going to start to become like them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you have to isolate. You have to isolate for growth. You get me? The one story that we all saw, and I think we all loved, is when we saw you and Idonia yeah, man. together. Yeah, man. Big up Idonia. You know what I mean? Unity is, is needed in the dance hall. You get what I say? Bad DJ. Bad, bad DJ. You get what I say? Yeah, man, and he's an artist. So, I grew up. 
and 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 see like vibes cartel I do it mm. and their high school and want do it like how they might do it and I mean so straight up could we ever see a day a massacre and I don't have upon one title yes man yes man yes man and possibly in the near future you know what I mean yeah man yeah you man. know they're gonna run with that in my vlogs bro yeah <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> now I want to talk about well you got two classic albums yeah under yeah. your belt, bro. Yeah, man. You got a f two classic albums, and for dancehall artists in this time to say that that is a massive accomplishment. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Four, three, eight, Generation of Kings. I and uh, I think for Generation of Kings to come after four, three, eight, that must have been a hard. Yeah, man. That, <laughs> how difficult it was it for you? Um, you know the pressure guy because. Everybody, I say, yo, you can't do it again, you know. And um, but the thing is, as much as oh, me did feel pressured, me enjoyed it, you know what I mean. Me like, me work like that, you know what I mean. Me like outdo oh, myself, me like, me like, me like. My only competition are me, so me get up every day and try better myself. So with that, you don't know going into the generation of kings is it, the, the main problem was not having the album sounding like four three eight. Not, not the same songs, but just the whole concept of the album and, you know what I mean? So, with the fourth sheet, you have more like up-tempo songs on it, and like um, King and them vibe there. With, with Generation of Kings, I try to be more motivational, more a set of tone for the album. No Angel, Don't Cry, Wally Pa song and motivate the woman them. So, the pressure did real high, but I did, me did Understand what I want to do, understand how I want to go with the music. I did want a more cleaner sound, a more professional sound, you know what I mean? Because remember, yeah, learn, yeah, grow now. Um, 48 was my first album, you know what I mean? That was a learning experience also. Was you surprised by the way people reacted to that album? Um, surprise. I'm surprised, like, after about, probably like about six months down the line. Like when we really see people like, were still talking yeah, man, about when really it. See, all right. When we listen to the album, big up Corey Todd, you know what I mean? Mm. Me and Corey produced the album there. Classic. All right. When we listen to the album, when when we, we, we one day Corey showed me and I said, yo, you know say big woman thing. You see the album, my brother, this is a classic, you know. May I tell you the truth. But being in the studio, with Razzy, them most everybody and the work we are doing, we, we did kind of already know. So this, this can't miss. Like every song is a hit song. You know what I mean? But it, the, the project just sound cool then from the, from the jump. You know what I mean? So we did so excited for release it, but me never, me never see it. I never see the, 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 the runway that I go get. I couldn't believe. Like after six months, me I said, no, man. This 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 unreal. This. And, and people still talk about it. To yes, this day. man. And this song, it's still stream. Like, trust me. Stream. Has the streaming gone up for that since Generation yes, of Kings man. has yes, come out? Yes, man. Everything gone up, man. Everything streaming, price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Everything gone up. <laughs> Listen, you see um, Generation of Kings, yeah? You see Reverse Time. Yes, man. Driving to your oh, place, God, to man. your yard. <laughs> yeah, man. And when you hear a song, when you're driving down the street in Kingston, Jamaica, there's a different oh, God, vibe man. about it, bro. Yes, man. Count up a million the first time, and never looking back in a coming on reverse time. Poverty, the reverse crime, and if you're there, you're road, and I walk your deserve time. God are going, but me no give the church mine. Paranoid, most of things are the earth kind. Count up a million the first time, I never look back. Yo, reverse time. Believe me, one of the craziest giants from the album. Razzy produced that track there too, you know. Yeah, man. Big up Razzy, you yeah, find man. it. Yeah, man. <laughs> you find it. And yeah, that's man. only right that Razzy gets that. Yeah, all right. The album, you know, I want to tell you, say, to be honest, you know, Shani B, other than. Boy, I wonder, big up Tunji, you know what I mean? Tunji got hard upon the, 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 the generation of kings, you know what I mean? Yeah, big up Tunji. Other than the Boy, I wonder track, I'm, I'm mostly in house producers. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a youth, them will produce all of the songs from 48. Wow. Yeah, so Def Jam never really changed the, the, the direction, you know mm. what I mean? 
and that them allow me to be creative, them allow me to still be myself, keep my identity work, you know what I mean? Yeah man, definitely so. I most produce most of the song them done well see me, Razzy see me. I just them three man there, probably one other song somebody has produced, but I the youth them producing the music them. With those songs on the album like Reverse Time, Stars Are Us, Limelight, Tyrant, you're speaking to a specific type of person. Who's that person? Ah, I hear them song, you know. Them song, they are just me. Like, no self-pity. No, 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 no. Nobody now fight you. No, no. People got you worse. People wake up in Afghanistan and bomb a drop out there. So. You have four years old where I got you a terrible thing. Where you worry about? Look at water, look at light. Your father left you, your mommy gone, look at them basic things happen to everybody. Pick yourself up, man, and fight, man. So you see, there's just a sense of belief in my music, them. You know what I mean? A sense of, of empowerment. Black people for feel like, 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 like that again, strong. Now, you understand for, for that, that self-awareness, that, that self-love there. Whether you have it or not have it, we're a king in ourselves. So that is what I try to embrace most in my music. I'm proud of who I am. If I walk out tomorrow, and something happened to me. I'm proud of my journey. I feel like you can't tell me I'm not the greatest. I already mm. feel it. You know what I mean? It's your choice to not feel that about yourself. Without even achieving it, I already feel that. Like you can't tell me that. You can't tell me I'm not the greatest artist ever lived. Me feel that <laughs> in my bone. And me, me know that when I wake up and I tell myself that every day. And even if it's not real on paper, it's real to me. And you change know, my family life, you know what I mean? And you know, that's how you're empowering people yes, with your man. music. Because yes, definitely, man. I think our reaction, especially in our dance, is money pull up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Matara <laughs> said, you make him rich. Yeah, man. <laughs> you get me? Because when we hear those songs and it hits you're us, pumped. you're like, yo, money, yeah, dog. Uh, all right. Money. Yes. <laughs> yeah, money, all right. money, money. You need to go up the go. Count up a milli the first time. I never look back in a coming in reverse time. We now go back. Make use of the ear where the sun shine. But then on the flip massacre, I was in Gambia a week and a half ago. Um, one of the biggest rappers out there, ST, looked at me and said, yo, a massacre are the man for me right now. Yeah, but because the music that they listen to out there, the, the mm -hmm. way they digest dance all, is music with meaning. Yes, yes. They don't want to hear the slackness coming no. out of Jamaica, you know, my brother. No. They want to hear the songs that empower them, that exactly. says, you know what, I can make it out of here. Variety. Too much of the, all right. You see the music go far, you know, and too much people. Mental health, real. Depression, real. A lot of people are struggle and no know so they must struggle. You know what I mean? So, you see the, the sound first was, a, was, a, was a, a rebellious sound. A freedom sound. When you hear Peter Tash, Bob Marley, them Buffalo Soldier, One Love. The music was a, 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 a sound of freedom, a, 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 a revolutionary music where you can just hear it and it, you, you feel no pain. You know what I mean? So we need them songs there. Rise to the occasion. Look at yourself and say you're strong. As a youth, I grew up, no matter what I got you in life and hear that sizzler mm -hmm. song, there, it changed my whole mood. The and can't and be those a are the big songs the in Jamaica. The can't be a, a, a sister just said me for rise to the occasion. Mm. You crazy youth. You know, your sister tell us to rise to the occasion where you run a yard of ball for. Rise to the occasion. You know what I mean? And if we get more, more, more of them songs, the, as I say, it's variety. We still need we, 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 we gangster songs. We still need the songs for the ladies. We can't lift them up. But we need songs to empower the people. Them. Make the people them know sick. Not because your pocket is not full of money. Believe in yourself. Believe in your sanity. Have local morals, local integrity. You know what I mean? The lion still not eat meat when he's hungry. A grass, same way. Mm -hmm. So just hold your firm. So you tell me the man where ride bicycle and take care of him family and pass him wasn't a proud father because he never own no millions and never. Man, take care of him son. And him son look upon him like a king. And to him son, him is a king. And that's all out. matters. He never seen daddy bow out. Exactly. That's all out. matters. And that is where the world set the thing now where materialistic things determine how much you love, you know what I mean, and how much respect you get. But from you have self-belief and believe in yourself and say, yeah, King, nobody can make me feel less than myself. No award, no no recommendation, no validation can make me feel better than how I feel right now. I take it with appreciation and I'm a great feel feet, but I already feel like, you know what I mean, God don't make me special, bro. Generation of Kings, what does that album title mean to you? Yeah, man, all of we are kings, the same thing, same topic, man, you know what I mean, just that self-power there, that self-belief there, you know what I mean? That self-doubt there, out of we know. 
You know what I mean? All the way a king. You know what I mean? And I could have said I'm the king of this generation. But more of them know say the whole way a king. That's know? how I took it. You know, know what I mean? Yeah. That I could is have exactly said I'm the king of this generation. You know? you know what I mean? But as I say again, the music is not a selfish thing. It's not my thing is not a selfish thing. My thing is for my youth come and see it. For my friend them can learn something from it. For my family can see say, yo, you know, say EG come from a ground and and change everything and and still I change everything and mm. still I go I and mean, never stop yet. No day, no time, we not take no vacation, no days off. Me get up tomorrow, oh me can make a next it song. Next day, oh me can make a next it song. Next day, you know the rest. So I just that generation of kings is just it's just a self belief there. You know what I mean? It's just that that, that belief the way I have. We hear the belief on the album. There's another song that I heard at Uptown Mondays on on Monday and, I, and for a moment I was like, I was sang that. The Afrobeat song on there, brother. Yeah, Everybody yeah. I said that song there, a big, 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 big yeah. song. What are you gonna do with that song? Um, are you saving it for some I'll shoot video this time? No, we'll shoot the video. We are shoot the video. We're currently in the in the, in the stages of, of of shooting that video. Big up for your, actually one of my favourite songs on the album, you know what I mean? Widely received to the people that mm. love that song there, you know what I mean? So um as I said, that was Boy Wonder song to big up Boy Wonder, you know what I mean? Big up Tunji. So the record is massive and the people them love it, you know what I mean? And it'll grow. Yeah man. Def Jam Records means so much to me. Because yes. I'm an original hip hop person yes. from in the eighties. LL Cool yeah, J. Man. Yeah, man. Uh, I can go on Beastie Boys, Red Man, Method Man. That label means so much to me, so much to the culture, so much to the community. What's your experience been like at Def Jam? Um, family. Straight up, family, family, you know what I mean? Me never, all right, to be honest, it took me a while to sign, you know what I mean? Me, me, me's an artist, so I'm scared of contracts and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I rather just free flow, you know what I mean? And just use my talent and do what me personally love. But, you know what I mean? Meeting Tunji, meeting the team, working with everybody, like, is, is, a, is a family settings, you know what I mean? And they make me feel appreciated. Everybody um, responsive, everybody see the dream, see the focus, you know what I mean? So it was really surprising at first, you know what I mean? Because you know you're going to something new, everybody will be like, yeah. But I think what happened is most people going to where they don't understand. And anything you do in your life, you have um, pros and cons, you know what I mean? But you just have to do the work and you should be good. But great, man. Great experience is always a label work. I look up to as a youth, the Def Jam game, not for them mm. thing there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah Def crazy, Comedy man. Jam, all yeah, these crazy, kind of things. Crazy, man. I've seen the rollout. I've seen you on uh, the news networks and this year TV program and all the rest of it. But what have they actually done for Massacre the Brand? Um, I think with being with them, we kind of learn the business some more and see what it takes for really be. The, 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 the mega star that I can be. I think I see the vision a little bit clearer. I always had that vision, but yeah. sometimes as an as a individual, no man is an island, you know what I mean? And it takes a collective for, for really move forward. So with, 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 with being with them, I kind of see a more, a, a, a clearer part as to how things run, how to get things done. It, it it's more organized and it's and it's an everyday thing. So the music is is a bigger business than we actually think. You know what I mean? So it's just a growth thing for I me personally. I, I I said it to you the last time we spoke. I think you're more focused right now. Yes, man. so focused right now, and on your game. And Definitely. In, even in 2024, another hit record yeah. under your belt with Shensia. <laughs> yeah, Jesus man. Big up, big up, big up Shensia. You know? what's, what's your entry line on your verse? Say the entry line. <sighs> it ain't easy, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> you're something me say you're good and done. Don't that Every me say when you pull you. Long story short, you think good and done. Every me say when you pull you. Down. Call, call your phone. Me want some. Then you'll tune again. Right, you you know see that argument there, yeah, that man. long story long short. short. <laughs> me don't need to say long story, cut the bug out. You know what I mean? Me I tell you where I'm going from No. Wow. What got me hooked, you know? Hit mm. and run. Yeah, man. How did that song come about with Shensia? Um, Big up Shensia. You know, Shensia, I'm a friend. Like, me and Shensia are friends for a while now, like like couple of years. You know she cooked for you yet? No, man. She not, she not cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always say you're cooking online. That is, if me you a chef it, too, you know. Me, me a chef too, man. Okay, but, sir. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a good friend, man. Real G. Real, real, real empress. So, 
I'm a friend from a long time, but um, me and Shen did for do a song from 48. You know what I mean? Yeah, me and I, for do a, uh, me and I did for do a record and it never happened. Okay. You know what I mean? And then she did send me a next record when me and I for do and it never happened. You know what I mean? Because you never like it. No, what, I'm sure right. I heard that. Shen, no, sure no, I no, heard no, that. No, you're not going to Shane. hard for please, you know. For so real? you will send her something and it bad. And she said, Yo, more something better than this, sicker. Can you bother? You know, you know. Oh, famous. she never liked what you sent her. She back. like it, but she has said, Yo, more something better. And then at the time, I think I have a move around because I have. Holy per shows. How so, did you feel about it when she turned you down? No, nah, man. Remember, I <laughs> hear what? I'm going to show you a thing. You see TJ Records? Mm-hmm. The thing with me, you know, I love the music. So, you see, from your. All right. I'm not around people where I, go, where I go just say, yo, I don't like that because of some hating. Well, before my voice update, I sing that song there three times. I forgot all about that record. All right. You see, update? When my record update, the chorus wasn't like that. I sent TJ and he said, yo, um, something about the chorus, DJ, what well, I not like. I mean, I say, all right, bad bro, I go back in my studio. And that is it with me. I'm just go back in my studio and I send him back again. And I say, DJ, you know, say, I mean, I say, you know, say, fuck this shit. I just go do something simple and real and just, brr, and send it back. And I say, yo, you see that one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you can't take it, you can't take it. That's why most of the artists, they're not growing up. You know? Because really and truly, why if somebody would have tried to stop your music for say, yo, me, not, me just not like it. You're a bad artist, but that verse there. Like, yeah, I don't like yeah, it. I just no, I mean, I like that verse there. Like, it's what? hard. That critique is hard to take sometimes as a, as as a, a creative. Art. Yeah, as a creative, 100%. Um, not for me still. You know what I mean? Come go, all right, here what? As I said, I did have the, 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 the good old days for work with some of the greats, them, like Dan, in, a, in a my younger time where. I don't think most of the young youth them could have worked with some of them man. What rhythms was Don building at right. the time when you was around him? Alright, I tell you. We, we released a thing called... I think, I never, I never, he never did a bill. No juggling at the okay. time. He did a work with like... What the brother name? Jaja. Um, Is it when he was doing the stuff with Protégé? Yeah, Protégé used to do that. Yeah, Alright, when I go to Protégé, ZJ Liquid... Um, Oh, yeah, one, one rapper, one, 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 oh God, one youth. I'm good friend. So we always did it every day. But the thing with Dan is pressure. Yeah. Oh, pressure, boss point. Yeah. Okay. The thing is now with Dan, when me, when me, when me, in at the studio, yes, like some engineer that say, yo, that no sound good. Try again. Then man that said, DJ, come out of your boot. <laughs> then I just tell yourself to sing that a while ago. But here, why is no, no disrespecting? You need he people like, that you're yeah, not you need get people around you to make you know that wrong, bro. And there's no other way to tell it. I don't mm. tell you say, maybe it's wrong, it's wrong. Mm. And it no sound good, bro. Are the only way you're going to grow. I hear you. Um, I just want to show you something for the Shensia and your record. Hit and run. Because you're not in the streets. <laughs> I'm out in the streets, bro. When last you got Uptown Monday or something I like that? Oh, yeah, show me a cricketer. Remember, I said I know everything already in a Shiny B. Yo! Them said you this for Monday. Yeah, man, I said Shiny B and me, I see everything. <laughs> Believe me, I see everything and I know everything what's going on. Yo, you see when a man goes slow more, you know. All I like, wicked this thing, man. Alright, the, the man have all him but you know. <laughs> yeah, slow watch it slow motion. Gone him gone. Six man. world. You don't know about Clive Six Lloyd. Six feet. You don't know about Clive Lloyd and then Batsman there. No. That's a Clive Lloyd special, right? Right, let's say that. Six all he needed years, to man. do was to go on his knees and boom. Six yeah, six man. for days. Yeah, man. Big song, man. Big, big song. What what else have you got coming for 2024, my brother? Is there gonna be, be <sighs> more collaborations? Yes. Um I have a collaboration with Lily TJ when we soon, soon release bad song, you know what I mean? I have, I have a couple, couple things well, I think I'm going to do the, 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 um, the deluxe, deluxe album. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to release the deluxe shortly, you know what I mean? So I work on that too. I have one of video, I actually probably release Reverse Time Monday. I'm supposed to re- release Reverse Time oh, Monday. Oh, video drop Yes, Monday. man, video, every, every song, you know what I mean? So we just at work, I have a lot of songs, a lot of shows, so we just have put in the work and hope for the best, you know what I mean? We have a whole heap of interviews coming up too, you know what I mean? So, crazy, crazy. Listen, Massacre, Jamaica is my place, bro. 
Yeah, I man. love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. When I walk around the streets, the people them treat me like yeah, man. Yeah, they, man. They show me so much love, and you have been part of my journey. Yes, man. I just want to say thank you. It's a blessing, my brother, man. Sure, and if you get to up in England and drive up and down in a cold. You become my England the first time. Yeah. <laughs> you see my studio voicing yeah, at man. 10 o'clock in the yeah, morning. Man. Literally just come off Meet from the plane. Meet your son. Yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. yeah. Come yeah on. You came come off the plane, on, went to come my on. studio. Yeah, Big Zeke's was there. We was yeah, voicing man. the Rebix choir. Yeah, all sorts. I, I, I think I you came to meet all Robo Ranks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. man. No, Robo came to my studio. Ah, yes, I was shot up. Yeah, man. Shoot up everything. Listen, it's a brother business and Yes, family man. thing yeah man once again you know go, man. blessings every time every stay time, on that brother. stay on that track my brother yes man massacre one extra in jamaica 2024 secret location in the yard yeah man